Welcome to Polypedia Online. I'm Iris Mishley and I will be your instructor for this tutorial. Hello everyone. In this project we will be creating cutlery covered Wilmot Fiori. I'm using two different colors to cover the spoon and the fork. Each color is a basic color mixed with granite Fimo clay to imitate a stone-like look. Fimo granite is a mix of gray clay together with glitter and other inserts. I'm conditioning and rolling the clay in the pasta machine to about a medium setting. These are the sheets I got, ecru and red, mixed with granite. I'm using regular cutlery, but you can use bigger. The process is similar. Spread liquid polymer clay on the metal spoon from both sides. Place it aside and take the ecru sheet. We are now wrapping the clay around the spoon. Cut on one side and another side. And wrap the clay around the spoon. You can determine on the height of it. You can make it low or higher. Attach the clay well to the spoon. Fold it gently on the sides. And cut the joint. This is the first layer. Cut the edge and smooth it a little bit. I'm wrapping with an additional layer to make the covering more chunky and visible. So this is the second layer. Continue with smoothing and flattening the edges and we are almost ready to place the Melifiori canes. You can place your Melifiori canes on the cutlery in two different ways. The first one is to cover with the basic color like we did and add raised slices. These slices will not be embedded in the base. The second way is to make a pattern sheet and use it to cover the tool. I will be demonstrating it later on the fork covering. Place the slices on the spoon and the wrapping, on the sides, on the front and on the back. I'm using a diamond shape retro cane. I'm cutting different slices. In the retro cane you have different colors. After placing all the canes, I'm using a stylus to add dots. This is optional. It will also secure the clay to the metal. You can add a stripe sheet as a nice border on the edge of the spoon. Cut a thin slice and place it on the base color. Press and make sure the stripes are well attached to the base color. Cut the extra sheet if you have to. Press well and removing on. Another option is to use a Milifiori pattern sheet as the second layer. 
Repeat the same process with the fork. Wrap with a single layer. This layer doesn't have to be decorated. In fact, it can be scrap clay. I chose to wrap it with the red granite sheet. Spread liquid polymer clay on the metal and wrap around like we did with the spoon. Condition your pattern sheet base and roll it to a medium thin setting in your pasta machine. Start slicing your canes to thin slices as possible. Place the slices on the sheet. Once all the canes are placed on the sheet, we can start rolling them with the roller. Take your roller, make sure that it is clean, and start rolling to flat and embed the slices in the base color. Roll to all sides to make sure the canes are not distorted. When all the slices are embedded in the sheet, slowly peel it off the surface and cut the right size to wrap the second layer on the fork. I'm covering the front and then moving to the back. Slowly folding from both sides and meeting the joints. Cut the excess clay and smooth the joints. Add a stripes sheet to the edge as a nice finish, like we did with the spoon. If you have some missing spots where you think you can add another slice, take your cane, slice even thinner than you are used to, and place on the spot. You can use a small knitting needle to smooth the slice inside and to flat areas that need to be flattened. Just move it back and forth until the slice is embedded in the sheet. Like this. You can use the stylus to add dots. It gives a nice texture and also secure the clay to the metal. Smooth with your fingers as much as you can. This way you don't have so much sanding to do later. And there you have it the finished spoon and fork. Now you can cure them and send them later. Good luck and thank you for watching.